Welcome to the Old Landmark Program presented by Soldiers of God Outreach Ministries. We hope this program will be a blessing to each and every one out there and will cause you to see the need of getting back to the Old Landmark in which the fathers have set. Welcome to the Old Landmark Program presented by Soldiers of God Outreach Ministries of Pulaski, Virginia. We're glad to be back on the air again with Soldiers of God Outreach Ministries, and we trust that this program will be a blessing to each and every one out there that's listening. We trust that something will be said or done that will cause people to see their need of getting back to the old landmark. You might say, well, what is a landmark? Well, most of us that owns property, there is a mark that marks what belongs to us. We have a mark that's somewhere, and lots of times that mark has been there for years, and the weeds will go up around it, and it will be lost, and you'll have to go, and you'll have to search if you're going to resurvey the land. You've got to go, and you've got to search for the landmark. You know, today we've got too many people that has lost the landmark. They don't know what's theirs anymore because they've let the things of the world come in and crowd out the old landmark. So they have to go out and begin to pull up some weeds and find where your what belongs to you. And we trust that something will be said on these programs these next few weeks that will cause you to get back what belongs to you, to take back what the devil has stolen from you. Maybe he has stolen your health. You need to go and find what is yours and take it back. Maybe he has stolen your finances, your marriage. Maybe he has stolen your children, and that's one thing that most of us has. Set back and let Satan have is our children. We need to go back and find the old landmark from whom the fathers have set for us and begin to dig out the weeds, begin to clean up our lives, and begin to pray and seek God in order that we will know what is ours and take it back on the authority of God's word and in the name of Jesus. So we want to talk today a little bit about Noah. When he came out of the ark, what did Noah do? Did he go out and find him a place and sit down and just forget what had just happened? Did he sit down and just let the world go by? Or no, he didn't. The first thing he did was built an altar unto the Lord, and he began to offer up sacrifice and praise unto God that had delivered him and his family. Notice his family. Noah was a righteous man, and Noah was delivered of the flood. Noah and his family were brought forth safe through the flood and through the waters, and today that's what we need to do as parents. We've got to find us an altar. We've got to build us an altar in order to find the old landmark, in order to get back what belongs to us. We've got to begin to pray. We've got to begin to seek the Lord. We can't let the world come into our churches today. You know, it's anymore, it's not the church going out into the world and trying to convert people, but it's the world that's getting in our churches today and is causing our people, the people that's called by the name of God, to drift back uh, while our children are running loose on the streets, uh, while our children are running free to do as they please, uh, and we're sitting at home in front of the televisions. Uh, you mothers out there that sits back um, and you sit there with your mind wrapped up on soap opera, uh, you sit there while your children are out and you don't know where they are. Uh, you don't know what they're into. Uh, when you could be spending those hours before God uh, searching the Word. Uh, you could be spending that time before God uh, trying to find the landmark uh, and trying to dig out the weeds uh, and throw away the rocks that has accumulated around that landmark. Uh, in your life, we need to get back to basics. Uh, we need to get back to God. Uh, we need to be seeking His face in order that our children will be saved because the time is short uh, and that's why that I have felt led of God uh, to come back on the air. Uh, my son had this program for a while uh, but things, some things interfered with it and he gave it up just for a while but we're hoping he'll be back on soon uh, with Bible prophecy uh, and telling the things that's going to soon come upon this world but in the meantime uh, we're not going to let the devil destroy feed us. Uh, we're not going to let this ministry in which God has put on our hearts uh, uh, lay waste, but we're going to try to say something that will cause people uh, to get back to the old landmark. Um, we need to begin to dig the dirt out. Uh, we need to begin to find the landmark uh, which was set there maybe a lot of times we will inherit some land uh, from our grandfathers. It's been in a family for years. Um, 
and the old landmark in which it was marked may be rotted away, uh, and you'd have to go back, and you'd have to dig into the deed. You'd have to go back to the courthouse and dig back, and you'd have to find the very spot uh, uh, where the land started that belonged to you uh, and put a new um, marker there. Uh, and you know now a lot of times uh, uh, we sit around and we let the Spirit of God rip from our lives, uh, and we sit around and we do nothing, uh, and we depend on the experience that we had years ago. Uh, and then when we need something from God and we have to go back and we have to begin to dig into the Word uh, and we have to find just where did we leave the landmark, uh, just where did we first begin this journey at, uh, just what did belong to us. Uh, and we have to go back and we have to begin to find it again. Uh, people, it's time that we got the old Word out. Uh, it's time that we dusted off the Word. Uh, it's time we picked it up off the table or off the shelf where it's been laying there for so long uh, and has accumulated the dust. Uh, it's time that we picked it up uh, and we began to dig through the pages uh, and we find where the old landmark is uh, and we find just what God's plan is for our lives. Uh, we find just what is ours and what belongs to us uh, and we're going to find that our family belongs to us. Uh, we're going to find that our money belongs to us. Uh, we're going to find that our health belongs to us. Uh, we're going to find that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Uh, that Jesus came that we might have life uh, and that we might have it more abundantly. Uh, he didn't come to steal and to kill and to destroy but that we could have life. Uh, uh, the devil came to steal and he's stealing our families. Uh, he came to destroy uh, and he is destroying lives. Uh, he is the stealer. Uh, he is the thief today. Uh, uh, that's stealing away what belongs to us. Uh, so it's time that we got out there uh, and we began to dig. Uh, and we began to find where the old landmark is. Uh, it's time that we stood on our feet uh, and we took a stand against unrighteousness uh, that's invading our world today. Uh, uh, there's a darkness over the world. Um, there's some evil powers out there. There is some evil spirits out there. Uh, and I'm sad to say that they're hovering over this little town right here in which we are in. Uh, I trust that you out there in Radio Land, uh, if you don't know Jesus, uh, that you give your heart to him. Uh, he loves you today. Uh, he's standing with those loving eyes and that wonderful smile on his face. Uh, you might say, well, I'd have to give up too much. Uh, there's too much that I'm enjoying now. You don't have to give up a thing. Uh, praise God when you give your heart to Jesus. Uh, you don't have to give up a thing because uh, he's paid the price. Uh, and what you're doing now, you will no longer want to do because uh, you'll be so filled with the joy of the Lord and, and the soon coming uh, of him to take us home that you won't mind the things of this world no longer. We cannot serve two masters. Uh, we cannot serve God and mammon. Uh, we cannot serve the Lord and, and the world all at the same time. He said to come out from among the world and to be a separate people. Uh, you know, down in the land of Egypt when the Hebrews were there held hostages and when they were there, and that God was delivering them when an Egyptian saw an Hebrew they knew it was a Hebrew they knew that was one of God's people and you know today uh, when the world sees you out there they're going to know you you're going to be different uh, there's going to be something about you just like there was about those Hebrews uh, there was something different why? because they were God's chosen people they were a people that was raised up for God and the Egyptians knew the difference. When they looked at them, they knew they were not one of them. Praise God today, I'm proud to be one. Oh, that's different. I want to be different. I want to be a peculiar person for the Lord. Praise God. Now, we don't need, uh, we don't mean that you have to get out here and be a fanatic. Uh, you can serve God and you not be fanatic. Uh, you can serve God and you can be a different person uh, from what they are and they will not. Uh, and the majority of the time they will respect 
you uh, if you take your stand for what is right. Uh, and you'd better be taking that stand uh, because it's not going to be long uh, until Jesus is coming. Uh, it's not going to be long. You say, well, I've heard that all my life. Uh, I have to. Uh, I was brought up on that. Uh, I was raised in a church that taught that. Uh, all my life I've heard that. Uh, praise God. And right now I'm nearer to it uh, uh, than I was then because it is. We're at the climax of this thing. Uh, one day we're going to hear the trumpet sound. Uh, one day we're going to feel that quickening power. Uh, and we're going to leave this the ground. Uh, our feet is going to leave this ground. It can no longer hold them down. Uh, praise God as the song goes. Uh, there ain't no grave going to hold this body down. Uh, we've got loved ones that's gone on. Uh, we've got people that may have the old landmark uh, that set the ways for us. Uh, and they've gone on to glory now. And one day they're coming forth victorious uh, out of that old grave with a new body uh, that's no longer going to be wrecked in pain. Uh, but tonight up there I'm sure there's people that's upon our beds of affliction. I'm sure there's people out there right now that's listening in uh, and you're sick and you feel bad uh, and you don't feel like praising the Lord like you could if you was well. Well, let me tell you, I've got good news. Uh, praise God, Jesus is passing your way uh, right now as he walks through that room. Uh, you just reach out and you touch the hem of his garment uh, and you come off of that bed of affliction. Uh, you say, Jesus, this is my time. Uh, this is my hour. Uh, I'm going to touch your garment and I'm going to be whole. Uh, I've done all I can do as far as going to the doctors uh, and they have told me there's no more that I can do but give me something for pain uh, praise God you reach out uh, and you touch the hem of his garment and you shall be made whole um, oh we're so thankful to the Lord uh, for the privilege we have to tell people about Jesus uh, we're so thankful that we can tell people uh, uh, that it's time for them to get back the basics. Uh, it's time for them to begin to search for the landmark. Uh, it's time for them to begin to look uh, and see what is theirs, what is missing. Uh, why don't I have this no longer? Uh, where has it gone? Uh, oh, let me tell you something. Uh, Samson thought he had it, uh, and Samson did have the power of God, uh, but there come a time when he began to look. Uh, there come a time when he began to partake of things uh, that he shouldn't have partaken of, uh, and there a time when that old tongue of his uh, got him in trouble uh, when he began to speak about his hair uh, when he began to speak about where the power of God was in him uh, and then he let his secret out uh, and the devil got him uh, but thanks be unto God for God's great mercies uh, at the end he did a greater work for the Lord than he did at first he killed all the enemies uh, that were under the building that brought down death upon him and those. Uh, so we just thank God for this privilege that we've had to talk to you about the landmark. So I trust if there's anyone out there right now and you need Jesus in your life, just say, Jesus, come into my heart. I accept you as my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Take me and make me your child and give your heart to him and he'll do that. If there's anyone in need of healing, I trust if you need prayer, I trust if you've enjoyed this program, you will let me know because that's the only way that we'll know to stay on the air. If you haven't enjoyed it, let me know and we'll keep preaching it anyway. Praise God. So in the name of Jesus, we ask you that you will just be blessed. And if you need prayer, you need anything, any way we can help you out, you just call me at 980-0228. That's my home number. I'll be glad to pray with you. I'll be glad to encourage you if you're discouraged praise god and we'll all find the old landmark together so until next week at the same time this is fame athena saying goodbye to everyone and remember if you like this program you can write me at fame athena 711 randolph avenue pulaski virginia 24301 we love you god bless you until next week So until next week, may the Lord bless you, and we love you, and Jesus is soon coming.